Yo, what's going on guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a ragdoll effect whenever you die in Roblox Studio. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, make sure you like and subscribe, and also join my Roblox group, it has two games in it. The link is going to be in the description if you want to go check them out. Okay, so this is really simple to do. The first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go into the server script service and insert a script here. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and name it ragdoll. And then we can go ahead and get started. The first thing that we want to get is the players. So we'll get local players equals game, get service players. And then we were going to go players dot player added, connect function player. And then we're going to go player dot character added, connect function character. And then we're going to go character dot humanoid dot break joints on death equals false and then we're going to go character dot humanoid dot died connect function and then we're going to go for underscore comma v and heirs character get descendants get descendants do if v is a motor 60 then we want to get a new attachment we're going to get two attachments so that we can attach our characters joints together so we'll get instance dot new attachment and then we'll go comma we'll do the same thing And then we're going to set the attachment 0.c frame equal to v.c0. And this needs to be lowercase right here. And then we're going to get attachment 1. We'll do the same thing. Acceptability equal v.c1. And then we're going to go ahead and get the attachment 0 again and set the parent to v.part0. And then we're going to go ahead and get attachment 1 and do the same thing. But this time it will be part 1. And then we're going to create a ball socket constraint. So we we'll instance.new ball socket constraint. And then we are going to set the attachments of the ball socket to the attachments that we have created. And then we will also want to set the parent to the parent of the object, or the motor 60, sorry. And then we're going to go ahead and destroy the motor 60, which is a V. And then after the for loop, we're just going to go ahead and do character.humanoid root part dot can and collide equals false. And that will be it for the script here. So basically what we're doing is every time a player joins, we go through their character and we make sure that the player doesn't fall apart whenever they die. And then we just go through and replace every motor 6D component with a new ball socket constraint so that it actually ragdolls correctly. So to test this, we can just go hit play. And if we just go ahead and do reset character, then you can see that your character falls and ragdolls. All right, and to test this a little bit more, we can go ahead and make, I just made a ramp. And if you die, you can see we slide down it, and just ragdoll. So yeah. That is it for today's video. If you need any help, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you the best I can. And make sure you are liked and subscribed so that I can keep making videos like this one. And also join my Roblox group. It's free and um, it helps me out a bunch. Alright, thank you for watching. See ya.